Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking uh, Tears of Joy emoji inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And as you can tell, the left one is an image, the right one is a creation inside Microsoft PowerPoint. It's just because that this image is so small that it gets kind of blurred when you resize it to the bigger size. The great news is we will not start from scratch today, but actually from my previous tutorial about creating this smiley face inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will actually use this document, but delete this image and instead copy this uh, tears of joy image in here just so I can have some kind of reference and you can see that the mount is very same looking so I'll keep it but the eyes are kind of different so let's delete those old eyes and try to recreate those like uh, you know closed eyes and we can most likely you know create uh, just you know two circles and you know subtract those but we will not get those nice rounded uh, you know edges or corners so instead of just trying to merge different shapes together let's actually try to adjust the points for one object and but that one object will be the oval so insert shapes oval i will draw the oval like this and i will increase the transparency of the fill so i will select shape fill more fill colors and i will increase the transparency just so i can see what's below and zoom in as much as i can and then I will right click and select edit points and I want to move this bottom point more to the top. Now as, I so as soon as I do it, it kind of screws the you know, handles for the other points, basically for this one. So I have to make this a little bit bigger. I also will make probably this one a little bit smaller. So I get somehow similar shape. I'm pretty satisfied with the result. So I will copy paste this for the second eye as well. And I'm using the control and shift key on my keyboard to do this while I'm moving the shape. I will do the same for this part, but I will resize it to a smaller size and of course rotate it a little bit like this. Then I will copy paste it for the left side and flip it horizontally. So this is on the right positions. When I'm happy with those shapes, I will zoom out a little bit. I will select all four shapes holding the shift key on my keyboard. Then I will move it along the straight line holding the shift key on my keyboard again over the new face. Move it like this and right click and select format object i want this to be like a gradient fill going from a little bit darker color to the lighter color on the bottom so i will for the fill i will select the gradient fill so this should be the gradient fill and for the first gradient stop i will use the eye wrapper tool to sample the darker the brown color and for the second gradient stop i will sample the lighter brown color like this one i don't need those two other stops so i will get rid of them and maybe move those two you know stops a little bit closer together for the outline, I want the darker brown color. So for the line, I will also use the eyedropper tool and sample it as darkest as I could. Maybe this one. This seems about right. I may increase the width for the outline to maybe two points. And now I want a little bit of like, you know, the highlight below those shapes. And I will do this using the drop shadow effect. So for the effects, I will open the shadow properties and select one of those default ones for the outer shadow, like offset bottom. I want this, of course, color to be yellow. So I will sample the brightest yellow, which I could, like this one. The blur should be no blur, so 0%. And I may change the transparency to maybe like 40 or maybe 30%, like so. The distance, maybe two points, should be enough. Okay, so I have a little bit of highlight below those eyes. So now let's move to, the, to those drops, the water drops. There is actually a water drop uh, shape. If you select insert shapes, there is this uh, drop shape somewhere in here. I cannot find it right now, but I'm pretty sure it's there, so it's here. But it's kind of problematic because it's already rotated by 45 degrees and it's, you know, you know cannot easily resize it to, the, to be the right shape. So maybe what would be easier is to create the shape on our own. So I will zoom in as much as I can and I will again start with the ellipse. So I will insert shapes oval and I will hold the shift key on my keyboard just so it's a circle. Right click, select edit points and I will move one of those points more to the top. Then I will right click and select the corner points just so I can move those handles individually and just move them like this. And I think I have a very similar shape. If I rotate it by a certain number of degrees and resize it, I'm pretty sure it's kind of almost matching the the shape of the drop so that's great i will move it to the side and i will start by maybe adding the inner gradient so gradient fill so select format shape and for the fill i will select a gradient fill of course i don't want this to be brownish so i want to sample different colors so the first step will be like a dark blue color maybe like this one going to a little bit lighter one so i will sample like 
maybe this one. Then I want to go to this darker one again, and the last one will be a little bit lighter, just so there is a little bit of like a variation like this. I kind of like it. There is like a little bit of harsh transition between those two, which is fine. For the outline, I probably don't need outline, but I definitely need a little bit of more uh, shading towards the left top edge, and I will probably use the shadow as well. So effects shadow, but this time I will select the inner shadow going from the top, so inside top. If you cannot see it on the video, I can open it from here. So shadow inside top, that will give us a little bit of shading, but I will change the color to very dark blue. Maybe I will just open the more colors and move this slider a little bit down, just so it's like a dark blue. The blurriness could be maybe like you know, like seven points or so. Distance seems about right. I may change this in the future once I add the highlight, the actual highlight. Maybe eight would be like better. Okay, so I will copy paste this shape. I will get rid of the shadow because I don't need a shadow, and I want to resize it a little bit and you know simulate this highlight. So I will move it like this. And for the fill, I will use the white to white gradient, but one of those whites will be fully opaque, one the other one will be transparent. So for the first one, will be most likely white without any transparency. The second one will be white, but I will add uh, maybe like, I don't know, 60%. The last one or third one will be white as well, but I will increase the transparency all the way down to 100%. And I will move those around a little bit. Maybe I will you know, keep the blue one in here. I don't know, maybe it, it's fine, but I will increase the transparency for sure. Just so there is a little bit of like, I don't know, blue, whatever, it's it's there. Okay, seems about right, but I will make it a little bit like, you know, smaller based on the reference. And it seems like that our drop shadow is probably for the bottom one is probably too much. So I may fade it a little bit. Ever, you know, everything seems to be a little bit darker than it should be, so I may actually change the gradient a little bit to be to include a little bit lighter colors so I'm, I may play with those lightness uh, settings or the li lightness slider okay this this seems better again just a matter of you know tweaking all those values I'm not quite sure if the gradient or, or the highlight is actually a little bit blurred it seems like it could be so I may duplicate this shape one more time and I may blur it using the soft edges so i will increase the soft edges to maybe like i don't know four is probably too much so maybe like two points or three points and i will resize it just so it looks like that the highlight is kind of like a glowing okay like this this is probably too much okay and i'm pretty satisfied with the result if i zoom out it looks kind of similar at least i hope so so i will select all those three shapes for the for the drop and I will group it together holding the Control G on my keyboard. I will move it close to the eye. Then I will duplicate it one more time and select the Format, Rotate, Flip Horizontal. I will move it even closer to the eye and that's it. That's how you create the Tears of Joy emoji inside Microsoft PowerPoint. That's it. Thanks for watching.